Welcome to most frequently asked or discussed questions about the deviations in pharmaceutical industry. We will start with the very basic question what is deviation? Answer of this question should be in simple words departure from any established procedure is called deviation. Established procedures are referred to standard operating procedures, standard test procedures, batch manufacturing records or batch packaging records, approved protocols like qualification or validation protocols or any other approved documents. Intentional or unintentional failure to follow instruction given in this established documents leads to deviation. Next question why we should raise deviation? There are many reasons to raise deviation out of which three are given here. Raising deviation allows to investigate and find out a root cause and avoid repeat incidents of similar type of discrepancy. Deviation investigation allows impact assessment to be done wherein we check impact of deviation on existing previous and upcoming batch manufacturing. Deviation raising is an regulatory expectation. Regulatories expect that we should address the departures from the established procedures through deviation. Next question what is difference between incident and deviation? When we are having any written procedure like SOP, BMR, protocol etc and someone works against that then it is called deviation. Whereas in case of incident and incidence is an event that can affect our product quality or not but it is against the CGMP. Example improper governing procedure followed in processing areas or insect found in change rooms. Next simple question what are the categories or classifications of deviations? Deviations are majorly classified into the three categories these are minor deviations, major deviations and critical deviations. Next important question how do you classify deviations? In pharmaceutical industry, there should be a rationalized approach for the deviation classification. When the deviations does not affect any quality attribute or critical process parameter, it would be categorized as minor deviation. Whereas deviation causing probable impact on product parameter that will impact on patient health shall be classified as major deviation. Deviations having highly probable impact on patient health and cause danger to the patient's life shall be categorized as critical deviation. Next important question, what is thumb rule for writing deviation description? Deviation description should answer for questions like who identified deviation, where deviation was happened, when was deviation happened and what was the deviation. Deviation description shall be specific and exact. Next one is highly discussed question about the deviations. Question is whether planned deviations shall be raised or not. The current thinking by regulatory authorities is there is no thing such as planned deviations. PDA and FDA representatives jointly stated that if you need to make a change to a procedure for a short period of time, we suggest change control system to document this change. Instead of planned deviations, we should prefer temporary change controls. Next question is what is CFT and what is role of CFT in deviation investigation? The full form of CFT is cross functional team. This is the team of subject matter experts from cross functional departments formed to perform the investigation. Cross-functional team members may be from the departments such as production, quality control, engineering, IT, F&D, R&D or any other department as per the deviation requirement. Next question, what are the three stages or levels of deviation? Level 1, identifying deviation and reporting them. Level 2, deviation handling and investigating. Level 3 Deviations Corrective and Preventive Actions Next question Which are the investigation tools used for deviation investigation? Answer is There are two types of investigation tools used for deviation investigation. These are simple investigation tools and advanced tools for investigation. In simple tools of investigation, 
we use personal intervention, brainstorming, FIVA analysis, FIM investigation tool, and review of previous history of non conformances. In advanced tool of investigation, we use Fishbone tool of investigation, process mapping tool, failure mode effect analysis tool, and Ishikawa diagram. Next question How do you select investigation tool for division investigation? Selection of investigation tool is depend on investigator or investigation team performing the investigation. Here are the few examples given for the deviation investigation tool selection. In case of simple or the state investigation, personal interrogation and brainstorming tool can be used. For human errors and machine breakdown investigations, five-wide analysis tool is better suited. In case of process related failures like lower yield, lower assay, process mapping tool can be used. Whenever there are multiple root causes or multiple contributing factors like media failure or microbial excursions in the area, 5M investigation tool or fishbone diagram can be used. Next question How do you perform deviation impact assessment? It is always preferred to perform impact assessment into three parts impact on existing batch or batch under investigation. In second part, impact on previously manufactured batches and in third impact on upcoming or future batches to be processed next question why a review of previous deviations is done during deviation investigation this evaluation gives references of similar type of deviations that have been reported previously this allows to look previously identified root cause kappa and impact assessment for the deviations Last 24 months data gives adequate information about deviation history. Appropriate keywords shall be used while review of previously reported similar type of deviations. Next question, why we should raise deviation within 24 hours of identification? Answer is, at the initial identification stage, we doesn't aware about the further consequences immediately. Raising deviation in the system makes alert notification to all the key personnel working for industry and allows identification and evaluation of deviation to start. Logging deviation early forces deviation investigation team to start investigation immediately. This allows easy collection of evidences. Because over the period of time, it is difficult to gather evidences and interpret. Next question, what should be the deviation closure timeline for minor, major and critical deviations? This purely depends on the particular industry's established procedures. Commonly used timelines are as below. For minor deviations, 3 months. For major deviations, 45 days and for critical deviations 15 to 30 days next question what are the trigger points for deviation there are many trigger points or identification sources for deviations which are listed as below supervisor review qa or cqa review apqr preparation document review like batch manufacturing record batch packaging record qualification records or the external review like regulatory audits. Next question, which guideline most commonly referred for deviation handling? Answer is ICH guideline that is ICH Q10 is most commonly referred for handling of deviations in pharmaceutical industry. This guideline also talk about other QMS elements such as Kappa change management system that is change controls and APQR. Next question, which are the basic components of deviation investigation template? Components of deviation investigation template are given in sequence as below. First, problem in brief. Second, review of previous history. Third, investigation team. Fourth, investigation details or the observation details. Next, root cause. Next, kappa actions. Next, impact assessment. And then summary and conclusion followed by post approval. Next important question, why deviation count is important in QMS? Answer is many audits has 
division review in their agenda and open and critical divisions are discussed during audit high number of division shows plants overall qms system is not working well whereas lower number of division indicates good control over facility next question which software or application is most commonly used for division handling answer is trackwise is most commonly used software for division handling it is a cloud based quality management system and getting more acceptance in the industries along with trackwise other applications such as simpler qms master control division management system are also in use next question can we close division without getting root cause answer is depends on the type of investigation example particulate matter or microbial excretion type of deviation it is very difficult to get exact root cause finally at the end of investigation you should identify at least most probable causes for the deviation we can identify the kappa actions based on the identified root causes or probable root causes and close the deviation next question can we reopen closed deviation this is different on the industrial practices most commonly the answer is yes in a very rarely cases we can reopen the closed deviation these cases may include doing some corrections making addendum for deviations however very strong reasons and approval procedures shall be followed for reopening the closed deviations next more discussed question that is whether we should raise deviation for os ot results answer is it is always advised to do not open multiple qms documents for a single discrepancy os or ot result are alone investigation triggering qms element and against which we can do investigation impact assessment and identify cap actions however based on the industrial practice if required deviations can be raised next important question of can we cancel close the raised deviation most probably answer is yes in case if wrong deviation are raised in the system or due to any other justifiable reasons raised deviations can be closed this cancel closure procedure shall undergo through appropriate justification and cancel approval procedure next question can we cover or address multiple discrepancies in single deviation answer is no we should not cover or address multiple discrepancies in single deviation ideally we should raise separate deviation for each discrepancy however investigation of all can be done in common last but important question what are the most common root causes for deviation answer is human errors are identified as most common root cause for deviation investigations approximately 60 to 80 deviations identifies human errors as a root cause along with this human errors other common root causes are equipment breakdowns process or facility constraints inadequate sops or procedures subscribe to channel for more useful content related to pharmaceutical industry